Tonight, it was hard not to cry tears of joy as Sunita, a local mother, walked through the Albany airport clutching her four children, thanking everyone who helped bring them to safety as they start their new journey here in Albany. Tonight, after years of separation, sleepless nights and endless worry. <laughs> A mother's determination to bring her four children to the United States from Afghanistan is finally a success. I'm so excited and I'm so happy that after eight years, finally, I got my children in my arm. Sunita, who lives in Albany, has been fighting for her kids, ranging in age from 17 to 7 years old. Their father, who worked as an interpreter for the U.S. military, disappeared in 2013, presumed dead and taken by the Taliban. Their story recently gaining the attention of U.S. veteran Alex Plesis, who used his special connections to help them escape. High-level summary worked with other uh, Americans who were national security professionals to essentially find out where the kids were, get in contact with them, make sure that we could arrange for safe transportation, communicate all the trade craft and everything that was involved and necessary to make this happen so that the kids would know what to do. <laughs> Sis driving to Albany from Connecticut, meeting the family for the first time. Sunita's oldest daughter, happy to be together at last. We were so happy that we reached our destination and saw our mother and escaped from Afghanistan from Kabul. Sunita tonight relieved and grateful for everyone who helped bring her children to safety. While it's a happy occasion, Sunita still worries about her family and others left behind in Afghanistan. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jamie DeLine, News 10, ABC.